What's going on everybody, it's Brian and in this video I'll be showing you some of the jailbroken mods that I have installed onto my newly jailbroken iPad 2. So if you've been living under a rock over the past couple of days then you probably don't know that jailbreakme.com 3.0 was released and one of the more major features of this release is that it supports the iPad 2. So it's an easy untethered jailbreak for iPad 2's running iOS 4.3.3. So basically in this video I'm just going to show you some of the mods that I have installed. So starting at the lock screen, nothing major. So unlocking the device, you can see that instead of iPad, it says BS2 at the top. That's pretty much all the status bar mods that I've done, although I do have SB settings installed, just like on the iPhone 4. Don't really need to use this that much. I only have it for pretty much respringing and turning on Wi-Fi and turning that off and whatnot, so that's that. Of course I have four and five finger multitasking gestures installed. I just ran Xcode and it automatically enabled it. You don't even have to be a developer to actually enable these. You just have to try and add your iPad to Xcode's organizer and it will eventually enable itself automatically. So um, I don't have QTweeter because I can't upload pictures because it crashes. So of course I have Cydia installed. Next I have iFile, which is my file manager, must have for jailbreaking. Uh, it's a very nice application for browsing your entire file system on your device. It supports flash drives and hard drives if you plug it in through the dock. So it's a very versatile app. So it's a lot like Explore and Finder on Windows and Mac OS X. And of course I have Installus. I'm not going to pay for something without trying it first, so that's what that is for. Because every one of these applications are paid for. Now I do have Springtomize installed. I'll go ahead and show you the settings right now really quick. Also in settings you can see that I have Activator installed which is required for SP settings. I also have Full Force installed which allows you to take a regular iPhone app and sort of uh, make it so that it will run full screen on your iDevice. So for example I have it enabled for Crash Cart. So this is usually an iPhone app that you would have to run in pixel double mode but um, my screen is really dirty see myself there too but uh hopefully this will rotate itself in a minute so usually if you were to run this app on an iPad you would have to run it in pixel pixel double mode which will just stretch it out and it will look bad but that's what retina pad is for which I'll show you in a minute but full force basically takes your app and it tries to run it as if it was a native iPhone application or native iPad application so you can see that everything is full screen the game continues to run just fine at full 60 frames per second um, everything pretty much works just fine as if it was a native iPad app just as though they made this app specifically for an iPad um, I was surprised months ago when I first used this on my iPad 1 by how by how well Full Force works. You can see that this game works perfectly and I'm just wondering why they don't make an iPad specific version or at least make it universal because this was originally an iPhone app and it runs natively full screen on the iPad, not in pixel double, mo double mode. So that's what that is for. Very useful tweak and that one is free in Cydia. So that's what Full Force does. It doesn't work for everything. I tried to run it on Skype. It doesn't really work right. I'm going to enable it for the speed test app and you're going to see how messed up it's going to look. So let's go ahead and open it up. And you can see that everything is sort of screwed up. The buttons and stuff aren't lined up. The buttons are all the way in the upper right corner of the screen and they don't really do anything. So full force, it doesn't, run, it doesn't work for everything. So you just have to experiment with your apps to see which ones it actually works with. So that is full force. Now RetinaPad is sort of similar, but instead of making it native, full screen on your iPad, it makes it so that it runs, it, it uses the at 2x or Retina versions of images. So for example, um, for speed test, I could go ahead and open it up and you can see how clear everything looks for this application. It's not in pixel double mode, so everything is not, you know, stretched out and pixelated. Everything is nice and neat. And of course, I could shrink it down to iPhone mode if I'd like. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this app out of the multitasking dock. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you a before and after. So before you can see how clear it was. Now you can see that it's very blurry and pixelish, especially around the letters on the begin test thing. The buttons down below are very blurry as well. So if I go in and 
enable RetinaPad use, you'll see that it will be very clear, like so. Much clearer than before, just as though it's you know using the Retina versions of the images. So that's basically what RetinaPad does. It costs a little bit of money. I think it's three bucks. I bought it a long time ago in the Cydia store. Well worth the money. Next up is Safari Download Manager. I don't really use this that much, but it's here anyway, just in case I need to, so I don't have to rely on a third-party iPhone application to actually do that. And it basically adds an icon next to the your next to the left of your address bar, and here you can download files and things like that. And finally, I have Springtomize, which lets you change a bunch of small things on your device. It's tweaking made easy, that's what I call it. Uh, I do have a dedicated video showing this on my iPhone and it's pretty much exactly the same thing on the iPad. Uh, you have different things you could do to your iDevice that can easily adjust it. So if I go to my app switcher, you can see that I have start editing installed. So usually if you bring up your multitasking dock, you have to tap and hold on an icon before you could close it out. But with this enabled, you could actually start editing it without having to tap and hold. So if I just want to quickly get rid of some apps like all of these, oops, I could just go ahead and do that like so without having to tap and hold and wait and those sorts of things. Um, that's pretty much all I have enabled through Springtomize, but you can see that my lock string is custom. You can see instead of slide to unlock, it says slide to shizzle. Never figured out what that means, but it's funny. Um, and you can see that when I turn my iPad off, it does the old TV style thing, just like on an iPhone 4 using Springtomize, like that. It's a lot slower on the iPad, but it's you know a bigger screen and it looks cool as well. So those are just some of the things that I have installed onto my jailbroken iPad 2. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's everything I have on here. So. Um, if you have any comments, questions, or, oh wait, 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 I almost forgot. I have a cool little tweak for Springboard called uh, Springboard Invaders. And this is a app, this is a, a game that runs directly on your Springboard page that lets you play a game. So I have, this is Springboard Invaders. You could use the accelerometer in your device to move your little turret around. And you just have to tap on your screen to shoot the icons so you don't die. So you can see that I died and I could just start over in a second. So here it is. Now what's cool is that the icons that are dropping down are the icons that you have installed onto your device. So also the icons that are shooting out of your little gun thing, those are also the ones that are installed on your device. So I think that once five of them call comes down and you haven't sh uh, shot it down yet, then you die and the game is over. And at the top of your screen, you can see your score, how many lives you have left, and what your best score is. Now, I also have another game similar to that called Springboard Breaker. Uh, it's like a ricochet-style game where you have all of your icons here. Then you just have to use your little turret to uh, control where the ball goes, make sure that it doesn't fall through and whatnot. So, also at the top, you have your score, lives, and your best score. I think each of these are a dollar in Cydia, and it's a very cool tweak. I've never seen, like anything like this in the past and sometimes your accelerometer will screw up and it will want to rotate your springboard so you want to turn your rotation lock on now I did notice that if the ball is try is heading towards the right side of your little paddle it'll actually fall through it and once again all of these icons are from apps that I have installed onto my device I think city is somewhere on there I don't see it so um, just gonna try this out. I don't know before if it would touch like the right or most the rightmost edge of it, it would just fall through it. It doesn't seem to be doing it now. But this is Springboard Breaker. I will do a dedicated video showing both of these little tweaks in a separate video. So that is actually it with this video. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave them down below in the comments area. But once again, that's it with the video. So I want to thank everybody for watching, and I'll see you all very soon.